Today we're going on a virtual campus tour of Leeds Uni. This is the route we're going to take because these are the buildings we're going to be seeing. So let's go. First up, the iconic Parkinson building. You can see this one from all around and Leeds put it on loads of stuff. It's cool in fairness. The Parkinson steps are often being used for something, most recently for the picket line for the strikes. You should know that campus is usually a lot busier than this, but I got up early to film on a Sunday morning. You're welcome. Inside there's a cafe, some lecture places, a gallery and the Brotherton Library. The gallery's worth a look. Around the corner to the Great Hall. As far as I'm aware, there aren't many reasons for students to actually go in here, but there's a nice little courtyard thing. This is where you pick up your student ID at the start of the year, and it's usually where graduation happens. The Great Hall is really nice inside, but it was closed when I filmed this. It's worth a Google if you want to have a look. Next up is Black Lightning. Nobody calls it that. We call it Squiggles, or my personal favourite, Bacon. This is pretty much just a central point with some benches around and actually it didn't used to but it now lights up at night which is quite nice. Right next to Bacon is the chair tree. There's not much to say about this, it is what you see. And the chair tree leads us to the SU which is the building on the left here. Outside there's this road and this is the area where all events happen in Freshers Week. Immediately inside the SU is this space for relaxing. It's basically just an event space. To the right there's a refectory and some cafes for all your food wishes, plus this walkway for your Instagram pictures. And to the left is everything else. We've got a shot here of the entrance to Pyramid, that's where concerts and nights out happen. Then here's essentials for your overpriced goods but decent pizza slabs. And here's Old Bar, which I didn't get an inside clip of, but it's opposite Essentials. They have a cheap menu and they show loads of sports fixtures. Here's the Michael Sadler building. All it's used for is the Rupert Beckett Lecture Theatre, which is why I called it Rupert Beckett. It's pretty big and fancy. There's not a lot going on here. And spinning around, this one's Marjorie and Arnold Ziff. This is the home of student services and international students, so if you ever lose your student card, this is the place to go. This is also where the international office is, if you're thinking of doing study abroad. It's new, but it's quickly becoming the poster building. Red Route is one of my favourite bits of campus. They call it the North-South Access Route, but basically it's just a big red corridor and it links the 10th floor of some of the major buildings. We'll come back to this in a moment, but right now you're seeing it from inside Edward Boyle. Another library. This is the biggest and most used library on campus. It's always busy, but you'll always be able to find somewhere to sit. Each floor is designed to have a different kind of study vibe, which is nice. And this is where you'll find the majority of your books after first year, as the first year ones are mostly in Laid Law, which we'll come to later. Coming back outside of Edward Boyle, we can see the edit room, which is Edward Boyle's little cafe. It's very cute inside, and the pizza is also good, but way too expensive for my liking. Outside Edward Boyle are these awful steps, and I shot this from the bottom rather than the top where we just were, but they kill every student every day. Fun, fun, fun. Back to the red room. So here you're seeing it linking Edward Boyle to E.C. Stoner, which is massive, but I didn't bother filming it because it takes like five minutes to walk the length of the building. And here it links Edward Boyle to Roger Stevens, which was actually voted by the TAB as the ugliest uni building in the UK. Speaking of which, this big old lump of concrete is Roger Stevens. This is the biggest collection of lecture halls on campus. It's used for every subject, it's not specific. Roger Stevens has its own cafe, it's got a sculpture stuck to the front of it and its own pond. And that there you can see is a duck house. Irene Manton is the building that you'll see if you pan to the left of Roger Stevens. There's nothing really interesting to say about this one. If you're one of these healthier types, the edge is your place, you'll get free gym membership in your first year. 
And if you're not so healthy, then you still can't escape the gym as this is probably where you're coming for some exams and also some people have lectures in the conference auditorium which is around the back. This one's cool, Elise has actually got its own driving simulator. So if you're a driver then you can put your name down and go and help out in the research that they do here. Not a uni location but I really like these posts that have all the posters on. Again, not a uni building but very popular with the uni students is Church which is a nightclub based in an old church. And back around onto the main road, here's Laidlaw. Here are some shots from the back. And here are some from the front. They keep bees on the roof. Bees. <laughs> I thought I'd show you inside. So here's a printing station and here are some group study spaces. Laidlaw has some colourful glowy lights which look good at night and like every library it has its own cafe. To give you a perspective of location, we've come full circle and from outside Laidlaw you can see you're across the road from Parkinson which is where we started. is church which is a nice club a nice club a nice club <laughs> 